Hi, and a warm welcome to this curling and spiraling short lesson comprising contemporary Pilates and slings in motion repertoire. During the practice, I will cue the exercise execution and also blend in information on the anatomy trans myofascial meridians in movement focus. I will frequently synchronize movement and breath. And if the way I cue it doesn't work for you, just let the breath flow naturally and focus on the exercises. Lastly, I will mirror you and every now and then turn around so you can see the movements from a different angle. We start the practice in standing with the feet hip distance and parallel or as parallel as comfortable for your body. The pelvis centered and the spine elongated. Bring your awareness to your central core or what we call the center. If you like to work with imagery, you can imagine your pelvic floor muscles to be a set of elastic bands. One elastic band connecting the two sit bones and the other elastic band connecting tailbone and pubic bone. Where the two bands cross, that's where you are drawing inwards and upwards from. With the pelvic floor muscles engaged, your deep abdominals are also engaged. Your transverse abdominus is an important part of the center. So is your diaphragm. Therefore, it's important to let the breath flow throughout the class. Let your arms relax alongside of the body. Inhale, lift from the crown of your head. And with your next exhalation, raise your arms forwards and upwards, an arm arc. Inhalation, open your arms out to the sides and lower them down with an arm circle. Exhalation, arm arc overhead. Inhalation, open your arms and broaden the shoulders. Keep going a few more times. When you raise your arms forwards and upwards, deep back muscles engage, amongst them the multividae. The multividae are important segmental stabilizers of the spine and they are also part of the center. Now with your central core mildly engaged, bring your awareness to your feet. The feet are the foundation of the body and they are the starting place of your body-wide myofascial core, your deep front line. Your deep front line lifts the body from within and provides dynamic stabilization in motion. Now the next time your arms are relaxed alongside the body, keep them relaxed, maintain the length in your body, exhale, tilt your head forwards into a nodding, let the breath flow and start to roll down slowly. Draw your lower abdominals back, so you're fully engaging all of your abdominal muscles as you're rolling down. Your spinal muscles control the rolling down motion. At the lowest point, your fingertips are above the floor. The knees can be slightly bent or fully extended, whatever works best for you. Now at this lowest point, your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles are fully engaged. Your next inhalation, guide it into the lower back and sense the expansion in your lumbar area. With your next exhalation, initiate your rolling up motion. Let the breath flow as you're rolling up and elongate the spine one vertebra at a time. Broaden through the shoulders, balance your head on top of the spine, inhale. Exhalation, nodding again, roll down with a flowing breath. So it's a back strengthening exercise that lengthens and strengthens your spinal muscles. So the, the muscles that elongate and dynamically stabilize the spine. Of course, it also strengthens abdominal muscles, so you keep them fully engaged together with your pelvic floor. At the lowest point, again, expand through the lower back. So we are aiming for the opening of the lumbar area through the engagement of the abdominal muscles, the body position and the breath. With your next exhalation, initiate your rolling up motion. The pelvis is lifting first and then the spine follows with minimal effort until you're in a fully upright position, elongated from the base to the top. 
inhale. With your next exhalation, arm arc. Gentle activation of the spine extensors. Inhalation, lower your arms, broaden the shoulders. Exhalation, one more roll down. Let the breath flow as you're rolling down. So in movement focus is the superficial back line. It controls the rolling down motion, its upper part gradually lengthening while the lower part stays engaged from the sit bones to the heels. The deep front line supports the movement, so it provides the lift and your superficial front line lifts the pubic bone. So your rectus abdominis also is fully engaged here. Start to roll up slowly. Let your superficial back line elongate the body from the outside while the deep front line lifts the body from the inside. Inhalation, balance your head on top of the spine again and with your next exhalation, raise your arms into an arm arc. Inhalation, open your arms, bend the knees. It's an arm pendulum. When you exhale, you raise your arms overhead again slowly. Keep your knees extended, lower your arms. So I'm adding rhythm. Exhalation is a slow arm arc. Inhalation, you your arms full, a double knee bend, swing your arms overhead. This is an exhalation. And then with your inhalation, lower your arms all the way down, keeping the knees extended. Last one, exhalation, arm arc. Inhalation, arm pendulum. Exhale, raise your arms overhead slowly. And then lower your arms to shoulder level with your inhalation. As you exhale, reach out from the fingertips, engage to the center a little bit more, and then side bend with your inhalation to your right side. Left side is opening. Press the left foot down with your exhalation. Inhalation, lift your left ear up towards the ceiling. Here's an option. Exhalation, arm float, right arm. And with your inhalation, lower the arm. Keep going a few more times. So you can keep your arm relaxed or raise it with your exhalation. Lower it with your inhalation. Now we aim to actively lengthen and strengthen the left side of the body from the foot over the hip, up the ribcage to the side of the ear. So you want to lengthen that left side as much as possible and also keep the right side as long as you can. So strengthening hip abductor muscles, oblique abdominals on the side, back muscles and the muscles in between the ribs. The next time, keep your right arm relaxed, lower your left arm, center your upper body, and then a slow roll down. So the nodding is first, and then slowly rolling down. Use this roll down as an opportunity to sense differences in the right and the left side of your body the spinal muscles, the shoulders, even the arms. Does one arm feel longer than the other arm? One shoulder more relaxed or one side of your back more free in the movement? How is the expansion at the lowest point? Can you feel your lumbar area expand the same on the left and the right side or is there a difference? With your next exhalation, initiate the rolling up motion. And when you're rolling up, also sense, is there a difference between the left and the right side of the body? Balance your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhalation, arm arc, gentle core stabilization. Arm pendulum, a rhythmical movement, a double plie. And then lower your arms to shoulder level. Pause with your exhalation, reach up and out. Inhalation, long side bend to your left, open the right side. As you press the foot down, the right one with your exhalation, draw up from the pubic bone. With your next inhalation, elongate the body even more. And then your optional arm float with the exhalation. And with your inhalation, lower it down and keep going again in your own time and rhythm. 
So in movement focus is the lateral line. The lateral line connects the side of the body. It's a dynamic stabilizer and mover. And actively lengthening and strengthening it is one of the key focuses we have in the body-mind movement practices we do. Now we also incorporate the arm lines here with the left arm and the arm float. It is a very relaxed motion and the arm should be feel very, very light. Go one more time into an arm float if you're doing it and then keep your left arm relaxed. Lower your right ar arm, feel the lateral line soften on the right side and then raise both arms overhead, balance. And then the arm pendulum rhythmical movement, lower your arms all the way down and move into a roll down one more time. So often after unilateral movement sequences like the side bend with arm float, we incorporate bilateral movement, focusing on the interplay of the superficial back line and the superficial front line to recreate a sense of balance in the body. Take an extra deep breath into the lower back at the lowest point and then exhale, bend the knees, fold forwards, let the breath flow. Let your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles completely relax. Let your back muscles be soft, your neck be relaxed. And then extend the legs as much as you like. Bend the knees one more time. Hands are on the floor, fingertips point forwards. Extend the legs one more time as much as you like. And then walk your hands away from the feet or the feet away from the hands into an inverted V position. In inverted V, the knees can be slightly bent and you lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Connect your hands to the floor firmly. If you press the hands slightly away from the feet, you give yourself a bit more lift, connecting the back arm lines to the upper portion of the superficial back line. So there's a sense of lift from the outside of the hands, up the back of the arms, the back of the shoulders, and all along the spine to the tailbone. If you have been visualizing the pelvic floor elastic bands, you can now bring your awareness to the elastic band that connects tailbone and pubic bone. Its myofascial connection is going further up from the pubic bone to the sternum, connecting the deep front line to the superficial front line. So with your next exhalation, curl your tailbone under, draw your pubic bone up, roll forwards. It's a big wave. Front support, let the breath flow. From the front support position, bring your knees down to the floor, relax the top of the feet, broaden across the shoulders so you can slightly press the hands apart as if you'd want to stretch the mat between your hands. And now shift your body back, keep the pelvis centered and the spine long. At that point, your spine extensors take over. So this is the back strengthening component of the movement. Your hands should be quite unloaded. From here, shift the body forward, shoulders over hands. Inhalation, shift the body back. Lengthen the tailbone back. Exhalation, shift the body forwards. Core stability. Inhalation, shift back. Now we are going into movement. Curl your tailbone under with your exhalation. Small wave roll forwards. Inhalation, center pelvis and spine. Shift back. Exhalation, connect tailbone to pubic bone. Pubic bone to sternum. Basic front support, shift back. Let your back extensors take over. So it's a beautiful interplay between the abdominal muscles working and then the spine extensors taking over. The movement is dynamically stabilized by the deep front line. So your myofascial core and your central core. One more time, now I'm adding on. This is an option, if you like. 
from the basic front support, lower the pelvis, lift the sternum, stay connected to your center. So you are lifting up from the pubic bone, you are lifting up from the sternum, a long extension, hip extension, spine extension, and then press the body back into a child's pose. From the child's pose, circle your arms back, Either rest your arms alongside the lower legs or interlace your hands behind your back. If you feel comfortable, lift your arms away from your back. Just a little rebalancing or a counter balancing exercise for the shoulders. As we are weight bearing, we are spiraling the shoulders out. So we give it here a relaxed internal rotation of the shoulders just to soften the front of the shoulders a little bit. Lower your arms, relax your arms, semicircle your arms forwards. Spread your fingers, the hands are shoulder distance apart. And then with your next exhalation, reconnect your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles. Lift your upper body into a cat position. Let the breath flow. Center the pelvis and the spine. Broaden across the shoulders and establish a four-point kneeling position with the knees underneath the hips and the hands underneath the shoulders. From here, shift the body back just the way you did before. And again, when you are shifted back, very little weight on your hands. So back strength or your spine extends the muscle stabilizing the spine. With your next exhalation, small way forwards. Center the pelvis and center the spine, shift back. We go one more time. Rolling forwards with the exhalation. Inhalation, center and shift back. Stay shifted back in an elongated position. And now transition in another into another exercise. Shift your shoulders directly above the hands. Press the top of your right foot lightly into the floor. Slide your left leg back. Semicircle the left leg out to the side until your left foot is in line with the right knee. Keep your spine long. Shift the body back just the way you did before and then shift it forwards until the shoulders are above the hands. Keep going a few more times. Your inhalation is the shift back. Your exhalation shifting forwards. Now, besides strengthening the back muscles, maybe you feel a really nice stretch on the side of the lower leg and all the way up towards the knee. So that would be lovely. It's a, a place that's not so easy to reach. Shift back one more time, halfway, and then curl your tailbone under and lift all the way up into an upright gate pose. Let your left hip descend. Elongate the spine, take your arms overhead, stay broad through the shoulders and then lower your arms to shoulder level. Take your arms overhead and now when you inhale next, lower your arms, sit halfway back, fold halfway forwards. Exhalation, lift back up into an upright gate pose. Inhalation, sit back forward, fold. Exhalation is the lift. As you sit back, reach back from your right sit bone, reach forwards from the crown of the head. Keep the length in your spine. Reach out with your fingertips as well, so you stay broad to the front and broad in your upper back. Spiraling twist. Inhalation, spiral to your left. Exhalation back to the center, the same arm pattern. But now you are spiraling the spine upwards to your left and then back to the center. So we have an interplay of the spine rotators together with the oblique abdominals. We go one more time into the spiraling twist. And now combining the two movements, sit halfway back, spiral and reach all the way up with the exhalation center. 
inhalation, sit back, reach from the right sit bone, reach from the right hand, and then back to the center with your exhalation. So you want to maintain the length in your spine, especially on the right side, but also the left side. So intentionally, you keep the spine at maximum length and just rotate it as you sit back. The next time, stay in your forward fold rotation. Place your hand onto the floor, let the breath flow. Shift the shoulders over the right hand. Press the right hand into the mat. Revolve your sternum up towards the ceiling. Reach up from the left hand and also look up towards the left hand. It's the windmill position. Beautiful exercise to strengthen the back of the shoulders and open through the front, so your chest. Sit halfway back, reach back, take the load of your right hand, spiral your spine forwards, reach forwards, and then place your hand onto the floor. The right hand goes a bit further out, and now it's a small wave-like movement again. You're rolling forwards with your exhalation, center the pelvis, center the spine, shift back. Exhalation, roll forward, small wave in gate pose, and sit back one last time. Curling forwards, and then sit back, keep the length in your spine. Again, we transition. Shift your shoulders over the hands. Circle the left leg back, bend the left knee. You are back in a four-point kneeling position. Shift your body back in four-point kneeling, keep the spine really long. Exhalation, small wave roll forwards, center and shift. Stay shifted back, transition to the other side. Shoulders over hands. Press the top of your left foot lightly into the floor, slide your right leg back. Circle the right leg out to the side into a forward fold gate pose. And then from here, shift the body back. Lengthen the spine, reach back from your left sit bone. Shift the shoulders forwards over the hands. And again, as you inhale, shift back. We go a few more times. So besides strengthening your back muscles, you are also lengthening, we go one more time, your adductors, and you are promoting a little bit of glide. So it's really a beautiful, subtle, yet deep exercise. Now from here, shift halfway back and then curl up into an upright gate position. Let your right hip descend. Open through the left side, the front of the left hip. Take your arms overhead. Lower your arms to shoulder level as you inhale, grow a little taller. Exhalation, arms overhead. Sit back, forward fold, reach out, reaching to all four corners. Exhalation, back up, keep going. So left sit bone reaches back, crown of the head forward, fingertips out to the side. The deep front line is a dynamic stabilizer and you promote glide in the adductor region and also lateral line a little bit here on the outside of the ankle. Now we are changing the movement focus, we are moving to the spiral line. Inhalation, spiraling twist. Exhalation, back to the center, keep going a few more times. So the upper portion of the spiral line is here in focus, and the spiral line is very much a tensegral line, providing three-dimensional dynamic stability and movement. So you are spiraling up and around, and then the return is fairly relaxed. And now combine the two movements. It's a forward fold, sit back, and all of it with a spiraling motion. So up and around, make the motion as long as you possibly can. Now the whole spiral line, it's your right spiral line here, is in action, upper portion, as well as the lower portion, 
well supported by the deep front line. Arm lines, of course, incorporated. Now the next time, stay in your spiraling forward fold, place your left hand onto the floor, shift the shoulders over the hand, press the left hand into the floor, revolve the sternum up towards the ceiling, look up. By sense, you are rotating your ribs or your shoulder blade over the supporting head of the humerus, so your upper arm bone. Reach up one more time, maximum length, opening through the front arm lines, engaging the back arm lines, and then sit halfway back. Unload the left hand, center the spine, reach forward. Place your right hand onto the floor, left hand slightly out, and then with your next exhalation, it is a curl. Roll forward, it's a small wave-like motion, and then shift back, long spine. Tailbone to pubic bone, and then open through the sit bones as you shift back. We go one more time. And then shift back and stay shifted back, transitioning to the other side again. Shift the shoulders over the hands, press the top of the left foot lightly into the floor, circle the right leg back, bend the right knee, four-point kneeling. Shift back in your four-point kneeling position and then exhalation, roll forwards. One more time, center the spine, shift back, stay shifted back with a long spine. Keep the length from the tailbone to the crown of the head, shoulders over hands. Lift your feet off the floor, curl the toes under. Lift your knees, extend the legs, inverted V. Walk your feet and your hands together, forward fold, leg stretch. The knees can be slightly Bent or extended, whatever works best for your body. Re-engage through the center, engage your abdominals, lift the pelvis first, and then let your spine extensor muscles take over to elongate the spine. Coming into an upright position again, open through the front of the body. Take your arms overhead, arm arc. Let your arms fall, the plie, arms overhead and then slowly lower your arms, interlace your hands behind your back, either heel of the hands apart or heel of the hands closed. With your next inhalation, lift through your sternum, long extension through the spine, hold it for a few breaths. The tailbone is lengthening down, the pubic bone is lifting up, the sternum is lifting up, your hands reach down, so opposing traction. And then center the spine, balance your head on top of the spine, arm arc one more time. The arm pendulum and the double knee bend, arms overhead. And then open your arms all the way down, relax them. I hope you feel amazing. Thank you very much.